Welcome boys and girls. I'm so excited that you are here. Today is going to be a great day no matter where you are. But before we dive into our lesson today, let's go over our big idea. See, today our big idea is this, how God promised us mercy. See, mercy is a word that we don't use unless it's a game that I used to play growing up called mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. Well, we're not talking about that type of mercy. I mean, let me ask you a question. Who likes when things are fair? I mean, most of us like when things are fair. It means, like, if you do something good, you get a reward. I mean, I love rewards. But if you do something not so good, you don't really get a reward. I mean, you might even get punished. See, mercy is when you don't get the punishment you deserve. As strange as it sounds, it's kind of a situation that you like that you don't get punished because you made a mistake. I mean, for example, we learned last week how humans broke the perfect creation. You guys remember this? The perfect creation that God made. And even when we break our relationships with God and other people. See, for that, we deserve to be punished. But God doesn't punish us. That's God showing us mercy. We'll share more about that today. But first, let's pray and ask God to be with us today. Come on, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Jesus, we love you and we thank you. God, I thank you that you promise us to show mercy. God, I pray today that we learn about what mercy means through the story of Noah. And God, I pray you would speak to every boy and girl that's watching this right now. God, would you speak to them? We love you and we thank you in your name. And everybody says, Amen. Wow, wasn't that an incredible prayer? I'm so excited for the next lessons that we're going to learn today all about mercy. But for now, let's all stand up and get ready to worship with us today.
Man, that was an incredible time getting to worship with God with each other. I love it. It's so much fun. Well, see, hey, it's time for our key question today. I love this one. So here it is. If you could create an animal, what would it be and what would it be? can't wait to hear those answers. You guys are pretty creative, so I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. For me, I think mine would be like polka dots all over and I'd have like 20 legs. So, cause I'm always trying to like carry everything in one load. So this would help me carry everything and not have to drop it. Cause if you talk to Miss Isabel, I drop things all the time. One time I dropped the plate cause I was trying to put it away. I'm just clumsy like that, but hey, it's time for us to check out the lesson video from Carl and Cassie. You're gonna love this. You don't wanna miss it. Let's check out this video. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, Talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi, hey, Cassie. Hey, Carl. What are you up to? Um, just sitting here with you, ready to talk about the Bible and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Okay. Do you want me to ask what you've been up to? Thought you'd never ask. Check this out. Whoa. Are those yours? Well, they are now. What do you mean? I mean, they are now. I've been collecting for the past week. Collecting cookies? From where? Well, get this. Every day when I walk out past the desk out front, there's a cookie sitting there just waiting to be eaten. So I take it. You take it? Every day? Yeah, that's the crazy part. Every day I walk by his desk, there's a cookie. And I take it. Then boom, the next morning, there's a cookie. It's like magic. It's like the cookies are being sent from heaven as a gift from God. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? Did I say something wrong? Well, no. What What do you mean? Uh, is there something in my teeth? No. Do I stink? No. Do you stink? What? No. Then what is it? Well, those magic cookies you've been taking, they belong to Kinsey. She's the receptionist. No way! They've just been sitting there every day on the- Desk? Where people sit and work? No. That's impossible. Really? Have you talked to Kenzie lately? Sure. Not for the past few days, though. Every time I see her, she seems to be really upset because someone in the office keeps taking her snacks. What kind of snacks? I think she said cookies. It's a terrible thing. I mean, who would be that mean to steal someone's cookies? Especially in the office. I mean, the nerve! To walk up to someone's desk and just steal their cookie? <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. Wait. There it is. Oh no. Yep. I've done something terrible. Yep. Cassie, I don't think you understand. Those magic cookies weren't actually magic. You don't say. I've been taking Kenzie's cookies. It all makes sense now. Oh no. It's all right. I'm sure she'll understand. <sighs> I don't think so. She won't. This is terrible. What have I done? It's just a misunderstanding. It's really not a big deal. Not a big deal? I've been stealing! You hear that? Stealing! I know, Carl, but it's gonna be all right. No, it won't. I'll have to leave, sell everything I have, and move to a deserted island. I'll have to change my name to something like uh, Theodore Monocle and talk like this. That's it. Oh, man. What about God? What about God? Well, I've been stealing. The Bible says that stealing is a sin, and I've been stealing, which is a sin. All right, Carl. You need to calm down. You need to just relax for a second. I am calm. Man, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Carl, are you okay? I think so. I don't feel so good, though. I think I'm in big trouble, Cassie. I understand. But you really need to not worry. You know why? Why? Because this is all a dream? No, but the God we serve is a God of mercy. 
And mercy is forgiving someone even though they've done something wrong and may not deserve forgiveness. Do you remember Noah? Yeah, the guy with the big boat. Pretty cool story. Yep, Noah and his family were cooped up on that big boat with all the animals for 40 days and 40 nights. But after the water went back down and the flood was over, God told Noah some pretty cool things. What did God tell him? God said there wouldn't be a flood like that ever again. God promised to show humans mercy and he gave us a way to remember that. Have you ever seen a rainbow, Carl? Does a chicken wish it could fly? Of course I have! You're telling me a rainbow is like some sort of secret code promise? You could look at it that way. God sent us a rainbow to remind us of a promise, that God would love us and show us mercy. God promised us mercy. Hmm, that's pretty cool. That is cool. It's also our big idea. <gasps> Today's big idea is God promised us mercy. So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? Ready. One. Two. Three. God promised us mercy. Woohoo! All right, everyone. That's pretty cool. Mercy. I'm so glad we learned about no today. But now I gotta go tell Kenzie that I'm the one that was taking her cookies. Um. What? I may have already told her. Carl! Oh, mercy. See you next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Wow, that's an incredible video that Carl and Cassie had for us. Man, I don't know if you remember, last week we learned about what happened when Adam and Eve disobeyed God. See, as time went on, all the other people disobeyed God, and eventually God sent a huge flood and covered all of the earth. It was kind of like God was like resetting. Have you ever reset like the game system because you didn't like the level or restart a game because you got beat or something like that? It was kind of like that. But see, God showed mercy to a man named Noah and his family. Because God loved Noah. See, God told Noah to collect all the animals, one of every, two of every type, and his family on a huge boat that we know called an ark. I mean, there is an ark like north of us, a little bit further, but to ride out the flood, he sent an ark with specific dimensions and everything. But see, could you imagine how much water there was if it had rained nonstop for 40 days and 40 nights? See, Noah and his family and all the animals that were on the ark for a very long time before they were able to step foot on any dry land. I mean, think about this for a second. Could you imagine 40 days and there's like no cleanup service for all the animal smells, nothing. I mean, whew, man, it is, it is, oh man, it's probably has to smell horrible. It, anyways, I don't even want to think about that. But see, Noah and his family, they got on dry land and then one day, as the rain stopped, each day the water got lower and lower and lower. And see, one day Noah sent out a dove from the ark to see if there was dry land anywhere. The dove flew around for a while and came back because they didn't find any dry land. Then the, the, Noah would send out the dove a couple more times, and then one day, the dove never came back because it found him. And then everyone came out of the ark. Noah, his family, all the animals. In fact, Noah set up an altar and praised God for what he had done. But God was doing something even bigger. In fact, in Genesis chapter 9, it says this right here. It says, God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. A covenant is like an everlasting uh, promise. It's a massive massive promise big promise all right and so then god said this for for generations to come i have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be my sign of the covenant between me and the earth whenever i bring clouds all over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds i will remember my covenant between me and you and all the living creatures of every kind never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all when the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and 
all the living creatures of every kind on this earth. So God said that to Noah. This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life. See, God put a rainbow in the sky and told Noah that the rainbow was a reminder that God won't allow a flood to like that to ever happen again. See, God showed mercy to his people. And God has never gone back on that promise. It's kind of what we learned last week. Every promise God has will never, ever be broken. You see, whenever we see a rainbow, we're reminded that God promised us mercy. But you know, there's another side to mercy too. If God promised us mercy, God also promised mercy to the other people. That means we are expected to show mercy to others as well. When we show mercy, we forgive others for the hurtful things they have said or done. I want you to pause for a second. Can you think of anyone you can show mercy to? You know, for me, one of the best ways that we can make sure mercy stays in check is to see the different areas of when mercy should be there. For example, when we're upset or mad, I mean, we might say things that we wish we never did say. I've been there. I mean, we could ask God to show us mercy for something you said or did that was unkind. I mean, we could pray to God to help us show mercy to someone who has been unkind to you. I mean, we could ask God to show mercy for something you have done to harm something in the world that God created. Also, we can pray to God to help us take care of God's creation. And lastly, we can ask God to show us how much we are loved when we're feeling down or blue. We're just having a bad day. God will give us mercy and say, hey, I want to remind you of the things that you're loved. You know, the last one, we can always thank God for the promise of mercy. Come on, I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. I want you to pray with me. God, thank you for making everything in this world. God, we thank you so much. God, we ask for a promise to show us mercy. God, every time we see a rainbow in the sky, God, would you remind us of the mercy that you have given us and that we need to pass on to other people. God, would you help us show mercy to people even when they don't deserve it? Because God, we did not deserve a relationship with you, but you gave your son Jesus so that we could have a relationship. God, I pray that you would help us show mercy to people this whole week and for the rest of our lives. God, we love you and we thank you. And in your name, amen. Whoa, what an incredible lesson on mercy. I don't know about you, but I learned a whole lot about God and how he provides mercy for us, especially when we make mistakes. What a great God that we serve. Well, unfortunately, we gotta go. Until next time, and remember, have a great day and have a blessed week. Bye, guys.